Hello friend, today we will be reviewing the dishwasher, how it works and especially the media dishwasher which is very, very popular in the market and maybe exclusively sold on Flipkart. So few issues the dishwasher also has is like the extension uh, inlet pipe which is not uh, up to the mark and uh, the length is little less and there are other things also we'll discuss in this video today. So. Uh, this is a freshly installed dishwasher it's not yet used and you can see what all things are inside uh, and the shelves which can be taken out and uh, uh, some of the cutlery plates and now we are just if you see the back side the inlet pipe and the electrical sockets uh, the normal one nothing specific so it can be installed in any normal sockets the drainage is also normal it's just like a washing machine drainage and if you see the shelves which are coming out it's like uh, you have this the cutlery set also which is not very much used but yes you can use it for uh, putting the cutlery in it and then while using uh, like how how the dishwasher works so basically what it does is they, there are two multiple blades so basically two blades which has force in it and the salted water is pushed through that force and rinses all the utensils and then it gets cleaned. So there are cycles like pre-wash, wash and then rinse just like in the, you have in washing machines and you have a robotic place where you can put the detergent and uh, or the tablets and this is a place where you put the salts if you have hard water in your area and so basically this is the way dishwasher works. So it will rinse it with the salted water and with the detergent and then pre-wash, wash, rinse, dry. And this all uh, in, in, in the entire process, the water is being heated through the heating engine of the dishwasher. And if you see this internal body of the dishwasher as the steel body, it's quite shiny, it's just new. And you have places where the water or the dishwasher uh, washed water will be sprayed to the, all the utensils so it's pretty decent build and uh, uh, no complaints as of now i've been using this for almost two months so let's put the shelves back and <clears throat> if you see you have the wheels here so wheels will slide inside the rods so this is the lower basket where you put the heavy utensils and there is the upper basket if you see it also has a flexible shelves where you can put different types of utensils smaller and a little bigger ones as well this, this shelf is little adjustable maybe by around four to five inches it can be adjusted and once you take this out completely it is little it takes little time to put it back but generally you will not need to take it out completely you just need to pull it out and then take out your utensils and put it back again so in in the shelf if you see at the bottom there is a spray arm this spray arm is what which has the pores it is not moving now it's completely new it's not yet used it, if you see it's tied also so this is the spray arm which is going to move around uh, it's, it will move like a fan and it will spray the detergent and the liquid to all your utensils so this is what it is basically from outside and this is the robotic place where it's like at a certain time this will open up automatically and it will throw the tablet and detergent in the vessel and this is the place where you put your rinse head so rinse head it has some numeric numbers so it this is the way if you turn the knob so you can control the flow of the rinse head and if these are the two inlets so this is the inlets which comes and gets in contact and this is the way the water comes through this blades the spray arms if you see closely you will see the pores there are multiple pores and then the top one also moves like a claw in the clockwise direction and similarly the bottom one will also move so this is the place where you see 
all the programs like P1, P2. So P1 is for intensive, it goes till 60 degree. P2 is for economical mode, so it goes till 45 degree. So P1 is used for heavy intensive, P2 is for normal. I mean, so by default, it's P2, P2 only. So when you switch on your dishwasher, it will be P2. And it is quite effective. Similarly, you have P3 and P4. So P3 is for glass, so it heats till 40 degree centigrade and P4. Uh, it's like it goes till 65 it's mentioned and it's a 90 minute wash and p1 and p2 uh, it will last for almost three hours so generally we put it in the night so again then you have p5 p6 and p7 so total of seven washers p5 is for rapid so it goes till 45 degree and p6 is for self-cleaning so you can put it for self-cleaning of the dishwasher and P7 is used for pre-washing, so if your utensils are left over and it has dried a bit, so you can use P7 first and it does the pre-washing and then you can come back to your normal P1 or P2 mode to do the complete washing. So this is basically how it works. So these are the functionalities and you can read out the program description. So yeah. This is the front portion, so you have the power button, the program control, the timer, and the LED screen. So it shows the status and the time remaining, and then you have the button to control the full load and half load and start button. And there are three indicators. So it starts blinking when there is less of salt or less of rinsed or the water in the flow is having some issues. So it will start blinking and give you a signal that you need to fix those issues. So these are the few basic things of the dishwasher and uh, you see the energy rating so AA plus it's like uh, it's quite an it's on the better side so let's start to see a few other things like uh, the salt so this is the salt which has to be put basically in the salt box which is the basement of the dishwasher on the left hand side and Generally, we'll need, if your area's water is hard, you will need to put it regularly. So this will last for like easily for a couple of months. So it's actually based on the quality of water you have. So if you have very hard water, so it may not last long and then your indicator will start blinking and you may need to put in more salt. So generally in a normal area, you have a water softener installed. It will last for quite a good time. So you, one box will be required to pull it completely and in case you are using a tablet then this is not required. So if a tablet contains salt as well as the rinsed so you won't need to put the salt. And uh, once you put uh, in, the, in, in the place to for this tablet you won't need to put the inside as well. So this is the place where you need to put the inside. And then. so once this is filled properly, you can close it. And since we are using the detergent this time, so we'll be putting the inside as well. So this is the way you need to put the inside. You're seeing, so you need to be a little careful. So it takes around a bottle, like maybe a, a 200 ml. It can be pulled, filled completely, <clears throat> and then you have a, a little indicator there. So if you see, it's a see-through indicator, which it will show how much rinsed is remaining. So that's basic things done. Then let's come to a test of this washing machine. So sorry, this dishwasher. So we have been using this for a couple of months now, and we are making this video for a load test today. So you just saw this, the two trays. The thing we need to make sure is while putting the utensil, this blade should not be touching us. If it is getting obstructed, then your wash quality will suffer. So we have a full load, a full a good number of utensils ready. Our kitchen is full and we are going to test this media dishwasher today to the fullest extent. So let's start putting the utensils. So putting the utensils itself is a skill to build so whatever it comes in your hand so you'll just need to start putting so right now we are putting the glasses so on the left hand side and the top 
tray we are putting the glasses and then you another glass is coming so we'll put the glasses in the top side left hand side <coughs> then the next one we have is a smaller plate so we'll put that this plate like this so it allows like 13 plates to be put inside and this is the place where you can put your spoons and other smaller stuff like that though you have a separate box to put your cutleries also so now this another plate this is a smaller one let's see where to put it we can put it at the bottom as well bottom or top anywhere you can put your so let's see we will adjust it later just whatever is coming in our hand we are just trying to put it so we have put it again the second one now it's a bigger plate so bigger plate will have to put below because there is a good clearance between the top shelf and the second one and you need to be a little careful while putting the cereal okay so we have this cooker also it's completely stained so let's put it and we need to see that it gets sprayed properly with the kadai it's also completely and then we have few balls yeah, just keep on keep on adjusting this is the cooker cover it's completely dirty and this is one aluminium I cover so it's full that aluminium we should not put so then it gets little stained it gets a little discolored but not that much so still if you can manage you can manage and then all your tea strainer the tea box the tea plates and few other plates just need to keep on adjusting you need to think how better you can utilize the space this is the space now we have this sata thing this is the tea plate this is a small idli making plate just keep on keep on putting whatever you are having i mean it's good for like five or six people just utensils of a family of five or six people can be easily put inside you just need to keep on adjusting your utensils whatever comes to make the best use of the space good number of utensils we have already put we have few more we'll keep on adjusting we need but we need to make sure that the spray arm is able to spray all the utensils on the dirtier side if it is not able to spray then you'll see that wash quality is not that good some of the places the dishes has not been washed properly now some of the bigger dishes so we need to readjust when we are bringing the smaller plates in the left hand side still have some space this one was not utilized so this is completely done the full rack the top one is done the bottom is also done and we are checking the spray arm spray arm is moving properly the bottom one also we need to check before closing it and Okay, so moving so let's put the tablet also so we are putting the tablet so this has the inside and salt also so no need to put it separately so this is done so we are closing it and we will switch it on so switch it on and then we have the power button so by default you see this e to this economical mode eco mode so it will it will go till 45 degree then you can change the programs from here p1 to p7 so seven programs we have so p1 we are putting because we have cookers and kadais and also generally we will have it so if you want 
uh, we did a full wash then you can use this and we are using this time so it's showing two hours 50 minutes and if you try to control your rinse this thing then it will increase so this is done and next day we are reopening and to see the wash quality and how it has been washed so let's start so we start with our tea vessel so it is completely clean good and then next one again another vessel this is also clean properly the balls balls are also properly cleaned yeah this is one is also properly cleaned it is also properly cleaned the door is also cleaned properly this one also cleaned so most of them are most other all of them are cleaned properly we don't see any issues let's go to the bottom shell the Atta one is completely cleaned the smaller plates are all clean no stain in fact it's dried as well so almost 80 to 90 percent it's dried the aluminium one if you see that is also cleaned not much of discoloring the bigger plates the bigger plates the melamine plates as well so no issues there and the cooker cover so this is also shining fully cleaned this tips out this is fully cleaned let's do this with a karai so if you are watching from outside so this is the indian karai which gets most dirty and it has been cleaned properly and the cooker also is cleaned little bit of water is there now should be cleaned properly and there is no dirt inside in the, in the dishwasher as well this is cleaned properly rinsing has been done wonderfully well no problem you see now all our utensils which has been put has been cleaned properly so let's so if you are using this uh, uh, dishwasher and the detergent let's talk about detergent so if you are using tablets as i said so nothing else is required but if you are using detergent then you will need the rinse and the salt so the tablets contain the rinse and the salt as well so there are some questions like can we use uh, vinegar when you have exhausted your uh, these tablets are there so yes you can use sometimes but not regularly once in a while maybe in one emergency case you can use it all in all it's a very good uh, dishwasher because compared to other brands and the rate is also cheaper than most of the big brands like Bosch and all the wash quality is really good so let's come to some of the traffic cues so somebody is asking can it clean five liter okay so yes it can if you can place it properly how many vessels can be cleaned again it all depends you have this space where it is said that 13 plates can be put so the way you adjust it depends upon you how it works so we told like so the spray arm is the magic and then the dishwasher tablets and detergent it is propelled and heated and then so that's the way it cleans the noise level so noise level it's it's not very high i would say we use it regularly we see we put it in the night and the morning you see everything it's cleaned not much of noise so do the water inlet pipe with detachable or fix so it can be detached like yeah uh, the way it is in washing machine so in case of power outage so does the machine resume so yes it's an important point so it resumes from where it, it left so even if power cuts so the wash cycle it continues from where it stopped so what kind of vessels we cannot wash the plastic material plastic and wooden uh, utensils you should not put that which tablets can be used so finish is the best one but it's little bit on the higher side 
uh, with respect to cost there are other brands i mean it depends like what kind of how you are using the vessels and what kind of vessels you use so fortune is also good so i have used like these two and uh, fortune is also satisfactory not bad but yes finish is the best i would say how long so it depends upon the wash cycle so how long it will take for washing dishes so if you go for heavier loads p1 program so it will take like almost four hours there are shorter cycles as well which salt or detergent it suggests you so i would suggest any anyone it's all about marketing does it come with detergent shiner so yes uh, a finished tablets are provided in uh, inside the dishwasher so you'll get a packet of like maybe 20 tablets you can i mean it, uh, it's like media is partnered with finish so they give it when you buy so does it have a steam wash so yes it does steam as well can you be kept on kitchen platform so no kitchen platform though you can keep it but it's not suggested as i mean it won't be comfortable and the base you need a solid base the better the base the vibration will be less is it stainless steel i would say it's not stainless steel it's steel i have tested with a magnet and it does stick to it it's not stainless steel but yes it doesn't matter i would say because i have tested my washing machine as well so when i put the magnet it does stick so it doesn't matter much is it useful for cleaning oily dishes yes very useful can we keep it at the top of kitchen slab it all depends if you have a very solid slab with a lot of space then maybe you can but then you the height will increase and it won't be comfortable to handle it is it having a dryer yes the body is steel or not yes do you require pre-rinsing if your utensils are totally dried out then i would say that you can rinse it but yes you have an option to rinse as well in inside the programs one of the programs is for rinsing what rinse detergent salt we have to use any brand you can use uh, i mean not don't go for very cheap brands because there have been issues with the very cheaper ones yes the medium ones should be okay so do we need a tap adapter for inlet process yes you will need like a washing machine kind of tap and that adapter you will require is the stand required it's not sand stand is not compulsory automatic machine so yeah So finally so the cost of using it so per wash i mean if you put one tablet so on average it's like 20 rupees or if you go a little cheaper like for 15 rupees also per wash you can assume so it is uh, a little bit expensive i would say using a dishwasher then it all depends the quality also you'll get uh, quite good and it all depends if you need that then yeah there are expenses in maintaining this and comparison with other dishwashers so as per my experience so I mean, it is comparable with the best brand the wash quality has been impressive build quality is also impressive and that's the reason i am seeing that this dishwasher is picking up and a lot of people are buying this brand so this was my review thanks for watching stay connected have a good day bye